Welcome to our Piping Engineering YouTube channel. We are continuing to provide you piping educational videos. I would like to express my sincere thanks to our subscribers who subscribe to help our channel grow. If you want to watch better and more useful videos, try to get the membership packages of our channel. We have prepared this video based on your comments. In this video we will learn step by step how to calculate the distance between the centers of the elbows, how to find cut elbow degree and the pipe section length between these elbows in the double rolling pipeline. Before starting the video, be sure to click the subscribe button on below right. Let's start our education video. We will perform the calculations in this video on an 8 inch double rolling pipeline. To find the pipe piece length between these two elbows first we will calculate the distance between the centers of the elbows in this pipeline. On next stage we will find the 8 inch cut elbows degree and lengths, and finally from the total length between the centers of the elbows, we will subtract the lengths of the cut elbows and the gaps for welding. Let's go step by step. As you can see, the 8 inch double rolling pipeline, which is in the south direction, First goes 930 mm south after the first elbow and then turns 38 degree east, then goes up to a height of 700 mm and continues south again after the second elbow. After the pipeline rotates two right angle triangles are created with dashed lines. A horizontal right triangle is shown in red and a vertical right triangle in blue. Let's find the hypotenuse of the horizontal right triangle with perpendicular side of 930 and the angle adjacent to the hypotenuse is 38 degrees shown. We will use the trigonometric function formula in such cases to calculating the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. If we mark hypotenuse with letter H, according to the trigonometric function, cosine's 38 degree will be equals 930 divided by H. Continued to calculate and found the h will be equals 930 divided by cosine's 38 degree. We will use scientific calculator and found cosine's 38 degree will be equals 0 0.788. We substitute the value of cosine in this formula. And again using scientific calculator and found 930 divided by 0 0.788 will be equals 1180. So, we calculate and find the hypotenuse of the horizontal right angle triangle H will be equals 1180 mm. Also, this hypotenuse one of the perpendicular sides of the vertical right angle triangle. So, the perpendicular sides of the vertical right angle triangle will be 1180 and 700. Now, let's find the hypotenuse of the vertical right triangle. We will use the Pythagorean theorem formula in such cases to calculating the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. If we mark hypotenuse with letter D, according to the Pythagorean theorem, D squared will be equals 1180 squared plus 700 squared. Continued to calculate and found the D squared will be equals 1882400. We continue D will be equals 1882400 under root. At last, we will use scientific calculator and found under root 1882400 will be equals 1372. So, we calculate and find the hypotenuse of the vertical right angle triangle and total distance center to center of elbows will be equals 1372 millimeters. This measurement also is the distance center to center of the elbows of this pipeline. Now let's calculate elbows degree. To find the degrees of elbows, let's show double rolling party of pipeline into the parallelogram. As can be seen, the 8 inch pipeline heading south goes 930 mm south after the first elbow and then turns 8 degree until the second elbow. In such situations, we will use the inverse trigonometric function method to find the degree A. According to the inverse trigonometric function method, the degree of A will be equal to the arc cosine of 930 divided by 1372. Using scientific calculator and found arc cosine of 930 divided by 1372 will be equals 47. So, we calculated and found that the below red elbow's degree is 47 degrees. With the same method we can calculate above elbow degree also. 
Since the double rolling party of pipeline is inside the parallelogram, the extension of the upper elbow also coincides with the opposite side of the parallelogram and the calculation of the below elbow degree will be valid for the upper elbow as well. Marking the degree of the above elbow with the letter B. According to the inverse trigonometric function method, the degree of B will be equal to the arc cosine of 930 divided by 1372 again. Using scientific calculator and found arc cosine of 930 divided by 1372 will be equals 47. So, we calculated and found that the degree of both elbows is 47 degrees. Now let's calculate of the elbow's length from the center to the end dimension. Formula for calculating center to end distance of such cut elbows is as follows. Elbow length in millimeters is equals tangent, elbow degree divided by 2, multiplied nominal pipe size of elbow NPS, multiplied 38.1. Now we will write details of the 8 inch 47 degree elbow to this formula. 8 inch 47 degree elbow length will be equals tangent in brackets 47 divided 2, multiplied 8, multiplied 38.1. Using the scientific calculator, we find that tangent in brackets 47 divided 2, multiplied 8, multiplied 38.1, will be equal to 132.5 millimeters. So, we calculated and found that 8 inch 47 degree elbows length is equals 132.5 millimeters. Also, during fit up, there should be a gap of about 3 millimeters between the pipe and elbows to be welded. We should take these gaps into account when calculating the length of the red color pipe section. Let's start calculate this pipe section length. Pipe section length will be equals total length, the center to center of elbows 1372 millimeters, minus 2 times red elbows length 132.5 millimeters, minus 2 times 3 millimeters gap for welding. So, we calculate and found red pipe section length in this pipeline will be equals 1101 millimeters. By using this method, you can easily calculate pipe section lengths in the any pipelines. This education video is finishing here. If you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel from the bottom right corner and like the video. By becoming a member of our channel, you can support our channel and benefit from some features. If our viewers write in the comment section to improve their knowledge of pipe isometric drawings, we can send them additional PDF files. We're very happy to embark on this educational journey with you. Thank you for visiting the Piping Engineering YouTube channel.